is Paul Ockram. Uh, I'll tell today about the process of Lean Magento development. So first of all, to start off, uh, I'll tell about how I came up with this topic. Uh, when we were growing pretty rapidly, we had to reinvent the approach to the project management. Uh, so uh, when we were looking over our processes, we found out that um, the classical approach, which is called Scrum, uh, it's really good in terms of the process, but really bad on uh, in terms of delivering the value. Uh, so that's why uh, we were thinking of what are the alternatives. And uh, uh, the Lean is a good alternative which can be combined with the classical project management approach uh, like, uh, like Scrum and can be implemented in the process of development. Uh, first of all, what is Lean? Uh, the Lean, uh, it's, it comes from the classical production. Uh, it was first invented by Toyota. Uh, many of you, I think, uh, read the book, uh, which is called the, Do the Dao of Toyota, uh, where they uh, tell the, the, where they declare their principles of production. So, uh, to start off the Lean, uh, first they have uh, some core principles of how to work with the Lean approach. The first principle is to eliminate the waste. So uh, the waste is uh, the things which are not bringing the result. So these things could be uh, just, you can just delete them from the backlog and focus on the most important thing to deliver the value to the end customer. Uh, the second core principle of Lean is uh, to amplify the learning. Uh, in the development process, we're always, uh, we're always learning so we can uh, empower the learning inside our team to uh, to bring new technologies, uh, to think of new approaches that will bring the value to the end customer. So learning is very important in the process, uh, and you have to when you're applying the Lean principle, you have to empower a team to learn. Uh, decide as late as possible. This is a really tricky one uh, because um, okay, if the process is fast, if we are focused on the value. Uh, the the classical point is that we have to decide fast, uh, but in terms of lean, we have to decide as late as possible uh, for this feature or for this thing to bring uh, the most of the value. Uh, deliver as fast as possible. Uh, for example, in our in our uh, situation when we're using the classical Scrum approach, uh, uh, we have the small iterations and. Uh, uh, to deliver fast, you have to deliver something like MVP first, so the minimum viable uh, amount of features which will bring the value to the end customer. So that's why the delivery process should be built uh, as fast as possible. Uh, number five is really a cool one, I like it, because uh, you have to empower the team, so you have to uh, give your team uh, the decision making, uh, the, the involvement in the decision making process. So, for example, if the developer or a manager sees something that can be improved in the process, uh, they're always welcome to, uh, to talk about it so we can implement it. Uh, okay, the sixth one is also very important. So, uh, many of our customers, they have different system and uh, they have uh, we have different integrations, so in the ideal world we have to think of the whole picture, so we can uh, we have to uh, to think of the whole system, like the thing that is bringing value. Uh, the seventh principle is that all of the uh, six principles which were mentioned before, uh, they have to be combined and uh, you, you have to think of the whole value of the product. Um, okay, uh, th this is a motto which has been used by many companies which uh, work with the Lean approach. So, think big, act small, fail fast, and learn rapidly. Actually, that's a very great uh, motto in, in terms of the development process. Uh, uh, you, you may ask when to use the Lean approach. So, um, Lean really helped optimize the process in terms of the end result. So when you see that your development process uh, is more like doing the regular things, delivering on time, 
uh, you always forget about the, the end value to the customer. So it's in the ideal world, you have to combine the process and the result optimization. So that's why we were thinking of Lean and implemented it successfully. Um, now I'll try to be a bit practical. So what are the real world examples of what can be done in order to implement a uh, Lean approach inside your team? So the real practical things are user stories. So when you have user stories, you usually, uh, or mind map, you usually see the whole picture. Uh, you can uh, adjust it. You can understand what would be the end product. And uh, if there are any concerns, you can optimize it, hopefully. Um, I'm not sure. Actually, who, who have heard of uh, Backlog Iceberg before? Does any of you? That's really a uh, very cool thing. Uh, so first, uh, you have the tests that are uh, at the very beginning, uh, the tests that are not defined yet. So uh, when you want to have the further definition of the backlog tasks. Um, at the second level, you have the tests that are uh, in process. So they are defined. They have the major story titles. Uh, on the third level, you have the tests that are waiting for estimation. So basically, uh, they're the, they have the high, high level stories, they have all of the definitions, and they're being waited for estimation by DevOps. And the, the, the very top one is the tasks that are waiting for development. So the ones that are uh, fully, fully described and uh, ready for uh, being taken to work. Uh, this is a very helpful thing. You have to limit the working process. Uh, when I was talking about uh, on in the waste, uh, I mentioned that uh, the tasks should be divided into those that are really practical and uh, that that are that are in the process of development. But you have to limit that so you can uh, work within the deadlines. Uh, Test-driven development actually now with Magento too, it's really pr it becomes really practical. So. That's a uh, practice uh, when you first uh, have tests and then you write the code. Um, so I think I won't be stopping here because it's more of the development part. Uh, then uh, for, the, the, for delivering as fast as possible, uh, we usually use continuous delivery. So um, when we have all of the stages uh, of the delivery of the product automated, so uh, before the release, we have automatic build, automatic deploy, and test being run. And then it deploys automatically to production. So that's also very helpful uh, in terms of uh, the methodology. Um, um, yeah, it's a very important topic. Some people think that Scrum uh, should be considered versus Lean, but in our case, uh, we just we just took uh, something that is really valuable from Scrum approach and from Lean approach. Uh, it very much depends actually on the size of the project because for some cases when the projects are really small, uh, it's not smart to imply uh, to implement it. But in general, big uh, projects where you want to achieve the top quality and to see the overall result, which is which satisfies the end customer, you you have to implement lead. Um, so basically that's useful resources if somebody want to uh, read something about uh, lean and because it's it's very deep topic uh, I mean uh, it's really hard to tell about the lean methodology in terms of the small talk uh, <coughs> but uh, to, because there are many many useful books there are many things to consider when doing that there are many types of projects where you can't apply the clean lean or clean scrum approach. So um, yeah, I would recommend to, to read those books in terms to get uh, deeper into that topic. Um, actually, I'll tell a bit more how do we uh, do it in terms of Magento projects. Um, in terms of Magento projects, uh, you usually, I mean, after the Magento to release, uh, we are enabled to do the continuous delivery. We can do tests. So uh, the idea in the ideal world, we have to bring value to the customer. And uh, if you do that with the regular approach, it's a bit hard. So 
that's why. Uh, I think uh, we can start a discussion. If you have any questions, you can ask them and That's true. Yeah, so when uh, you adopted this uh, lean way of uh, doing mm -hmm. things in, uh, in the company, mm -hmm. uh, can you go a bit more in details? What exactly did you change in the processes? Yes, sure. Things? Uh, actually, uh, to, to adopt the thing, you have to change the way uh, how people work uh, within the project. So first you have to empower them to make decisions. Uh, then uh, you have to empower the way they generate ideas. Uh, so, so w during the Scrum meetings, uh, they're welcome to discuss new ideas. Then, on the beginning of each project, we first uh, review the backlog. So we eliminate the waste. Uh, we see what is useful and what is what can be delivered in first sprints that really matters. Uh, then we uh, we uh, empower the communication with the customer, of course. Uh, we uh, implemented user stories, backlog iceberg, so that was our real practical thing that helped us much. Because we, we actually came up with this thing because uh, we think that we're doing everything good in terms of processes, so we deliver on time, we deliver cool features, uh, but uh, the customer satisfaction level uh, could be improved. So at the end of each project, uh, the, custom, the customer had some expectations and sometimes uh, the thing that they've seen that wasn't what they actually needed because they needed to release uh, some sort of feature and to test their product. So that's why this concept is really useful. Okay, and uh, about empowering uh, people, do you have any uh, maybe insight or some, yes. some nice ways of uh, issues? Actually, um, we, we usually, I mean, right now, uh, we started a new cool practice. So we have um, the regular uh, sharing of knowledge inside our team. So we have something like uh, conferences where developers share their ideas and new cool practices in terms of development. So for example, as far as I know, the last thing uh, uh, we, were, uh, we were having in that meeting was uh, sharing some insights about how what is the right way to write the test for Magento development uh, for, for the stores, Magento 2 stores, uh, and also uh, attending some events, conferences, also very useful for developers to, to, to get some new knowledge. And project meetings also help to generate new ideas. So that's basically three things. I mean, um, for implementing Lint takes time, so we didn't implement the whole uh, bunch of things that we wanted to do. So we're still in the process, but the results, they're fa pretty fascinating, so that helps much. Some other questions? Okay, then I'll share my contact information, so if anybody want to ask something, you can reach me out via this. Context. Thank you.